video, stop the A3C, obviously with the C2. Uh, we've got SLP Diffuse Wavy, Jurgo, obviously we've got his Mafia here as well today. We're just chilling right now, and then we're gonna catch a, maybe a bit of street work, uh, try and get some tricks in, because uh, I want a Chinese switch. Uh, I've been chilling for like two days. I want to try knee switch. I want to try um, master my knee hops. And I don't know if I want to try it today, but I do want to try jump the crisscross. I've been thinking that in my head for like the past two days. I really want to try it, but I don't want to mess myself up. But I know it's going to happen at one point. So I think I'm just going to go for it today in this video. We'll see how I'm feeling. And then later we might meet up with Lucas. And then yeah. I was here thinking we're going to do a bit of street work and look at this wind. Go on, Jake, lift it up. Honestly, like to do combos in a wind like this is peak. The most you could do is basically like sh really straight or maybe a couple of small swerves, isn't it? Oh, oh, almost kept it. Yeah, we're gonna go home bargains. I wanna show you these new tricks that I'm trying. Uh, hopefully I don't stack. Yeah, even if I do, more content. And hope I don't fuck myself up bad. But yeah. We're gonna be at home bargains. Home bargains right now. So I'm gonna try a few new tricks that I've been trying um, off camera, and let's see. So first, actually, I'm gonna tell you the tricks. So first, I'm gonna try um, knee switch. I'm gonna show you my progress on that, and then I'll go and jump, jump onto my next one. See that one? So yeah, that's my knee switches that I'm learning. So. My next one I'm going to show you will most probably be my, uh, it's basically, I'm trying a knee knock with the other, and then switch to the other leg, try that knee knock from that side. I've never really tried it before, but Lucas is doing it now, so I'm going to try it. So that that's my progress on that i can maybe do a little bit better than that but i don't want to show too much on camera just yet because i don't want to do too much practice i'm going to leave it up to the other team members as well so yeah but um right now i'm going to show you i think it was what was it i think it was jump to seat stand and jump to knee knock as well which i'm going to show you that really quickly let's see if i can land it too much clips off trying to land it because I'll do that after I'm not going to get landing um, landing um, montage at the end maybe uh, but right now I'm going to try and jump to seat stand I've tried it once I almost landed it but my disc was hot so my bike kind of like rolled back a bit and we'll try again my learning trick so far I did try um, uh, flat I did try jump to crisscross or jump back from crisscross but uh, I think I need to practice more because look the way I'm doing it is basically so I'm standing my crisscross because I can't jump to it so how I'm trying to jump off it is like I don't know maybe like that but obviously that's me taking off one foot first which I want to do both at the same time but it's a bit sketchy. Almost, almost. A bit more practice, but I'm gonna get some practice off camera. See if I can land any of them. See if I can land any of them tricks on camera, and see if Jake wants to do anything. He doesn't want to because he's got jeans on. But let's see if he shows up anything. Now I understand why some people don't do a lot of tricks and just think to normal riding I just messed myself up so bad trying to knee switch and I flipped over to the other side hopefully everything is still okay with my bike but damn I need to try it again no I don't know I think next time I'm going to try knee switch is also going to be on camera because next time I fall bad again I want to make sure I catch it so you lot know the fucking struggle it is to learn some tricks but yeah I feel I'm going to stick to jump to knee knocks right now and jump to seat stands maybe some knee hops 
But I really want to learn knee switches, man. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again soon. I'm gonna try again very soon. Right now, I'm gonna stick to my other tricks. So right now I'm gonna try Trudy's drag where you put your foot in there instead of having it on the peg and drag your foot. I'm gonna try I almost just landed it but it's difficult. I don't know how I'm gonna land it, but I think I'm gonna have to jump back onto the pegs to get back onto the pedals because getting back onto the pedals I think you have to master it. I'm gonna try that. Now after I'm going to do knee knock to seat stand, so like try land it. I'm gonna try um, a couple of seat steps, see if I could do seat steps. So I used to be able to do it on my Specialized P2, if you're an OG, you remember that. But yeah, let me try and get onto Trizzy's drag. Uh, if I don't land it like the first, I'm going to try twice. If I don't land it on camera twice, I'm going to keep on practicing it. Maybe show you another time, but let's get into it. Team members have been saying, Oh, how do you knee knock? Oh, I want to try and land a knee knock. So instead of them coming up to me and asking me in person, I'm just going to show you quickly how I learned to enter. But obviously, I took baby steps. Remember, this does not come fast unless you really put in a lot of work. So let me try it. Uh, obviously, you want to try and do it like uh, flat first. You don't want to try wheelie and do it straight away. But the first, obviously, if I was you, I'd just do this. Just keep on trying now. Obviously, if you do it on frame, you can still do it on frame as well. But yeah, so how I know how I how I learned how to do it and how I, how Lucas and Jogo is learning right now is basically just doing this. Yeah, so you get on your you get onto your frame and you learn this. But obviously, before you even get into any of that, you want to make sure you have balance on your frame and your pegs. So I'm gonna show you that one quickly, flat and then while we wheeling as well. So yeah, doing it flat. You just want to place your pedal, you just want to place your pedals where you used to really, and you just want to do that, and you just want to go back on. So, I'm going to do that wheeling, so, and then, like, that's the first baby step. So, you want to do that. But like I said, remember, you've got to make sure you have balance on your bike before you try it. Because there's a lot of people that go to it straight away without trying to balance. So, yeah. Uh, the next step would obviously be a knock. But you don't want, if you don't want to go for the land straight away, then I'd advise you not to because I didn't. So, the knock, bang. That's all you want to try to do. Even if you don't land it, just try and get back onto your frame. After doing the knock onto your pegs, you don't even have to worry about landing it the first couple of times. Just do that and get used to it until you feel like you can do it while wheeling. And then obviously, you just put it into a wheelie. You always want to make sure, right? Whatever pedal side you use to pull up, so basically, for example, I use my right, but you always got to make sure you have that placed. When you go for your pegs, when you, when you go for your knee knock or your chip, whatever, because for example, if you're going to place it here and your right leg is this one, you're going to need to pull up. You're going to come here and you're going to go, and it's going to, you're going to you're going to struggle a lot, which is a I think a main tip to help a lot of people. 
And I know, obviously you're thinking, why are you doing this video when there's a lot of people that's doing this video already? But I'm sure you know my way, because my way, I think, um, people are gonna learn it good. And obviously, the main parts about doing the knee knock. So that's the knee knock, but now to control the bike, obviously, some people like to wheelie and hold their brake and just glide it. I'm gonna show you what happens if you just wheelie and glide your brake. So, when you really glide your brake, this is what happens. You're gonna go down, yeah? Or you're just gonna slow down. So, you've got to remember, when you're doing a trick, you wanna tap it and you wanna use a lot of balance. Not, uh, people think that brake is what mostly helps them, but it's honestly not, trust me, because there's people out there in the world that really without a brake. So you always gotta remember with the brake. So now, for me gliding, for me to tapping, watch the difference. See, hardly no brake. So yeah, you always gotta remember to glide that brake, not just with tricks, but with your manual, with your manuals as well. If you can use most balance, then go for most balance because I normally do as well. Now I've got used to the C2. But yeah, that's the way I learned how to do the knee knock. Oh, actually one of the other main tips is if you can find a small slope, so once you get used to the bike, when knocking with the bike but you can't get used to landing it, go to a slope because it's, it's going to help you balance with your, it's going to help you balance with your knee, like you can go like this. And, balance it and push it forward and backwards so you're going to need to catch a slope whenever you can don't always try it uh don't always try it straight down. Sponsor us, come on man, we've been drinking you for a couple years now. Sponsor us. Ooh. Because, obviously, as you can see. Ah? Huh? What? If you keep on trying it, Jago's really trying to land this one on camera. So that's why you might see him drop a couple times because he's only literally just tried this today. So, I haven't even tried that one. I do the one where I put my foot in the uh, middle of the frame, so yeah. Oh yeah, no oh yeah, no grip tape, no grip tape, no, no grip, grip tape. tape. Rain, and, and it's raining and he needs new pads and he's got jeans as well. So come on. And it's just and like I told you in the early, that was his first time learning that. So come on, single speed gang. Already know. Bang. Yeet!